uh, the challenges we face in accessing medical um, countermeasures during the COVID-19 pandemic, especially the availability of vaccines, only make today's event much more uh, remarkable. The vulnerabilities of global health systems exposed stark inequalities and inequities in access to essential medical resources for significant populations at a time of great existential peril. In Africa, we did not just witness, but also bore the brunt of arbitrary distribution and denial of access, as well as vaccine nationalism, which coupled with Africa's over-reliance on external manufacturers magnified our all already very serious situation. This time, the time has come, therefore, for Africa to actualize health sovereignty by liberating itself from dependency on unsustainable frameworks and accelerating initiatives to become self-reliant in vaccine production. A fundamental value of Pan-African solidarity is that no one is free until all people are free. In vaccine production and supply terms, no one is safe until everyone is safe. Making vaccines universally accessible to all our people, regardless of nationality and status, is an urgent imperative that we must respond to without any hesitation. It is encouraging, therefore, that the Africa Union has demonstrated strong resolve in taking effective measures to bolster the continent's healthcare infrastructure, human capital, and institutional frameworks, as was very ably um, articulated by my friend from CDC. The collective determination of Africa's leaders is in shaping the future of healthcare by establishing a resilient, equitable, and sustainable vaccine manufacturing ecosystem is now beyond doubt. And I promise, as I did when uh, I was asked to champion the vaccine manufacture in our continent, that we are mobilizing resources, we are mobilizing uh, support, both moral and financial, to make sure that Africa has the potential, the resources, and the investment to make sure that we, are, um, we, we provide a mechanism for ensuring that we sustainably have vaccine manufacture in our continent. And I'm proud to state that Kenya remains steadfast in its commitment to collaborate with partners like the Africa Union Commission, Africa CDC, and the Africa Medicine Agency, World Health Organization, and of course, the International Vaccine Institute to make a strong contribution to this endeavor. We have every 